This article is from the radiotimes.com. Doctor Who's ratings are a success for Russell T. Davies in a way that's crucial to its future. <laughs> okay, maybe they're a success for Russell T. Davies, <laughs> but they're not actually a success, objectively speaking. Yeah, Doctor Who's ratings for Series 14 are a success if the aim of Series 14 was to alienate most of the fans and have the lowest ratings in the history of the entire franchise. He commented on his push for younger viewers, saying the under 16s and the 16 to 34 audience as well is massive. It's not doing that well in the ratings, but it is doing phenomenally well with the younger audience that we wanted. Uh, this is just absolute cope as far as I'm concerned. Trying to pull any kind of positive out of the fact that audience viewing figures have never been lower is a complete and utter denial of the reality of the situation. How could you discern anything but a negative from these ratings? This next article is from Bounding Into Comics. BBC refuses to acknowledge terrible Doctor Who ratings, instead boasts that series is their top drama for under 35s this year. Even though the numbers clearly prove the fact the BBC is refusing to acknowledge that showrunner Russell T Davies' latest run on Doctor Who was an absolute ratings disaster, to the surprise of very few, the decision by the cast and crew to use the British sci-fi series as a vehicle for overtly socio-political messaging was not, to say the least, a winning one. As catalogued by UK television analytics firm Barb across its eight total episodes, the 15th Doctor's debut season only pulled in an objectively terrible average of 2 million overnight viewers, 3.5 million seven-day consolidated, the worst in the franchise's entire history. And you can see the breakdown of the entire eight-episode series 14 right here. The Empire of Death, the series finale, is the only episode to not have its seven-day consolidated ratings just yet, but they will be in soon. The article continues, yet despite it performing worse than the original series, season 26, whose ratings were so bad that it led to Doctor Who being put on ice for almost a full 16 years, the 8th Doctor's 1996 television film being the franchise's only official screen production during that time, the latest Doctor Who season continues to receive the full support of the BBC's PR machine. Asked by UK news outlet The Times if they had any comment on the franchise's less than stellar ratings performance, a spokesperson for the state broadcaster asserted, overnight ratings no longer provide an accurate picture of all of those who watch drama in an on-demand world. This just sounds like an attempt to put a positive spin on the situation. Yeah, sure, the overnight ratings aren't the only thing that we think of when it comes to ratings, but they are still important. The fact that they're in decline clearly means something, and the seven-day consolidated ratings are not helping much either. The final ratings for the series still confirm that it is the lowest rated of the franchise's 60-year history. The season of Doctor Who premiered on iPlayer nearly 24 hours before broadcast, and episode one has already been viewed by nearly 6 million viewers and continues to grow. They added, Doctor Who remains one of the most watched programs on iPlayer and is the BBC's top drama for under 35s this year, making it one of the biggest programs for the demographic across all streamers and broadcasters. Well, it used to be just one of the most popular shows for a much larger demographic base, but whatever. So now it's goalpost moving stuff, you know? I mean, there are standard barometers and metrics that go into determining the ratings success or failure of a TV show. And trying to redefine the parameters after the fact is like trying to contrive some kind of victory out of a defeat. Do you remember this one? Doctor Who lead Shudi Gatwell responds to critics of his casting. Go and touch grass, please, for God's sake. That was an article back on Bounding Into Comics, April 26th. Yeah, well, I guess that's what they did. <laughs> they must have taken that request seriously because a lot of people decided not to watch Doctor Who Series 14. Anyway, that about does it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.